Hey y'all, welcome back to Love Mag 2.0 or welcome if you are new to the channel. Today's video is full of cleaning motivation, some everyday cleaning and also some deep spring cleaning and decluttering in the garage. This video we are also going to be making an amazing coffee cake that I made for the first time and it turned out so good so you're definitely going to want to try this and we're also going to cook a little dinner so let's go ahead and jump on in. We are starting in the bedroom today and before I make the bed I wanted to vacuum the top of our headboard since I noticed some dust collecting up there. You like me from me without all of the glitter and you make me laugh just like a little kid and all my insecurities just disappear when you're here with me. I've been a stranger to this feeling never felt so high. We just got some new sheets as well. I got these at Marshalls for $30 and they are the softest sheets. They're the pre-washed kind from Livewell and I actually got these months ago, uh, these same sheets for our guest bedroom and every time I'm in there making the bed, I'm like wishing I had them for our bed and I finally got some the other day and they are seriously the softest sheets. So if you ever see these at Marshalls or TJ Maxx or Home Goods, and you're wondering about them and you're wondering if they're worth the hype they totally are So now I'm gonna dust off our furniture in the bedroom and I'm using Mrs. Meyer's lemon verbena scent today. And I know some of you guys are wondering about the Love Meg products. So just to give a little explanation on what's been going on with that, I am actually no longer in contract with the Love Meg cleaner. While I still think that it is truly the best multi-surface cleaner out there and nothing even compares, um, it's a multi-surface cleaner that does it all. Like it stains out, it cleans grease and grime and hard water stains and mirrors and countertop surfaces. I used it the other day to get ketchup out of my rug. My contract with the company has expired and I still have loads of this product probably enough to get me through two years <laughs> and I still use it a lot. But after using it for multiple years, uh, after a while, you kind of just want a new scent. You get tired of the same fresh pine and cucumber melon. So moving forward on this channel, if you see me using the Love Meg product sometimes, it's because I have a lot of it and I still really believe in the product. And especially with its stain removing powers, that's one of the best things about the product. So you will see me using it sometimes, but don't be surprised if you see me using other things as well. enjoying the cleaning motivation so far. We're about to take a break from the cleaning motivation though and I'm gonna make this, it's a sour cream coffee cake with pecans. And I found this recipe on Instacart and I was like, that looks really good, I wanna make this. So we're gonna try it out. I've never made it before, could be absolutely disgusting. I'll be honest with you when I'm done with it. <laughs> uh, Cause like I said, I've never made this before. So, but I mean, look at it. Do you think that's gonna be disgusting? I don't think so. So um, we have HelloFresh coming later on today. This video is not sponsored. We just genuinely order HelloFresh. Um, and I've just been so like, 
uninspired with dinner lately. I feel like we've kind of just been going through a phase where it's like, it's either tacos or it's some sort of pasta or it's like chicken and veggies or steak and veggies and I'm just like, or Mississippi roast, we've been doing that a lot or a crock pot chicken that I do a lot and it's just kind of in those same few things on repeat and I'm like, let me just take a little bit of a break with dinner and so we ordered some HelloFresh. So hopefully after those three meals, I'll feel a little bit more inspired. Uh, with some new things to make for dinner, but I do feel inspired to make some snacks like cake. Okay, so I've got all of my ingredients laid out here to make it easy for me. So for this recipe, we're gonna need two cups of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of salt, one cup of unsalted butter, two cups of sugar, two large eggs, forgot to lay that out. Glad I'm rereading this. Um, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, one cup of sour cream, half a cup of brown sugar, one teaspoon of ground cinnamon, and a half or one cup of chopped pecans. That's a lot. So it said preheat the oven to 350 and then grease a nine inch bunt pan. I actually don't have one of those, so we're just gonna work with what we got. We're gonna add in the two cups of flour one teaspoon of baking soda and one teaspoon of baking powder. And then half a teaspoon of salt. And we're gonna whisk that together. So in this bowl, we're supposed to cream together the butter and the sugar. Um, but these, I just pulled the butter out of the refrigerator, so they're not going to cream very well, so I'm gonna melt them a little bit. Just put this bowl in the microwave and see if we can get it a little softer. Okay, that's definitely a lot softer. Now we're gonna put in the two cups of sugar. And let me reread this, make sure I'm doing this right, because that feels like a lot of sugar. Yep, two cups of sugar, okay? You know what, you would actually think that it would be a lot softer than this. <laughs> ah! Okay, let me get a fork. Okay, I ended up switching over to my mixer, which by the way, this is the first time I've ever used this mixer. I got it for Christmas and I've been a little intimidated by it, but you know what? I was just over trying to mash that butter and sugar together by hand. I was even using a potato masher, which actually worked really well. But then just reading through the rest of the recipe, I was like, let me girl boss up <laughs> and use my mixer for the first time. And actually, I, I feel pretty confident with it already. I was like, I've watched a few videos. Um, but you know what? I think it's gonna be pretty easy. <laughs> Don't laugh at me. Y'all know I was never a baker until like this year and I've really gotten into it and I'm having a lot of fun with it. So, you know, that calls for a mixer for the first time. Okay, so it says to um, mix in one egg at a time. So I'm gonna turn that on. Okay. Maybe I'm gonna turn it up a little bit more. There we go. Oh yeah. Okay, I've switched over on my phone, which honestly, look at the quality of this. I turned it on cinematic, but anyway, it says to stir in one teaspoon of vanilla extract. So we're gonna do that now. And honestly, I only have a little bit left in here, so I'm just gonna finish that up. So now we're gonna add in a little bit of the flour mixture and then a little bit of the sour cream and go back and forth like that. So, start with the flour.
Becky, let's go on. All right, so we got it all mixed up. It's all fluffy and beautiful. Now we're gonna do the topping, which is one cup of pecans, half a cup of brown sugar, and one teaspoon of cinnamon. Okay, I'm still filming. Ugh, why can't I talk today? Oh my gosh. Still filming with my phone. Um, basically, you're gonna take your cake batter and put half of it down in your pan, which I have already greased. Like I said, this is the one we're working with, so hopefully it, everything's okay. I'm sure it will be. Um, and then, so after you put half of the cake batter down in your pan, you're gonna put half of the toppings in there. That way you kind of have a layer in the middle. So think you're just layering it like lasagna. So half of this, half of this, and then the rest of it, and then you're gonna top it with the topping. So here we go. tulip petals have fallen off but remember I was telling y'all that these um, whatever this plant is right here and right here we're gonna fluff up you can see what I'm talking about so now I think I'm not sure what you're supposed to do with tulips because you know it's got the bulb so I'm like should I bring up the bulb and keep the bulbs for next year or do I just cut them and leave the bulbs in there and then maybe they'll sprout again on their own next year i'm not really sure i'm gonna have to do a little bit of research on that but i don't even know if i'm gonna have to replace it i mean if i just kind of take all the tulips out um, i don't know if i'm gonna have to replace it with anything because these have fluffed up so much and like i said these are like really tall fluffy pink flowers that's what it ends up being and i looked online to try to figure out what these are called and i never could find the exact flower um so i still don't know what they're called and they were planted here when we moved in so i didn't plant these in there so anyway you guys will see once they start actually sprouting some buds you guys will actually be able to see uh, what I'm talking about what they actually look like but I'm gonna go ahead and water these now because like I said these are just these are gonna get bigger and bigger um, and then I gotta figure out what I'm gonna end up doing with these tulips So Justin is making enchiladas. That's one of our HelloFresh meals that we got. And I think we've had this same recipe before. Or mm -hmm. some, it wasn't it the was same similar. one, but it was similar. And it was so good. It so was. Good. Even the kids loved it. Um, but how'd you do this? So you brown the meat yeah. and the onions in there. Yeah, and it's got like a Tex-Mex seasoning in there. Um, and a few other things. Mm -hmm. I don't know, some other seasonings and stuff. Mm -hmm. We also got... In this order, we got burgers and this pepper jam pork filet. I can't wait for this one. I think this one's gonna be my favorite. We got four minutes left on this cake. Look at it. It looks amazing. I cannot wait to try this. So anyway, now you're just filling them up with the meat mm -hmm. and the onion and the cheese. Yep. Rolling them up in the pan. And then what's all this for? The, um, uh, that would be to, to add on it. later, yeah. I have to mix, I got still gotta mix some of that up and then it'll go on later. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Oh, uh, that's cool. 
it does look like a coffee cake now. Like, you can definitely see it. Yeah, I'm going to poke into it and see. Yeah, that's done. Oh, that looks so good. So I put the powdered sugar on there. And I can't wait. I mean, the instructions said let it cool before cutting into it. And it's cooled a little bit, but honestly, like, I'm done. I'm done waiting. We have to do this now. <laughs> All right, I went ahead and fixed my plate. Do you want to try it with me, babe? Oh, yeah. I'm so excited. I want yeah, to make sure I get the pecan and stuff. And, and yeah, the, the brown beer. sugar and everything. Ah, okay. It's hot. I bet it just came out. That's, That's a 10 out of 10. Good. That's very, very good. I mean, this is breakfast in the morning. It's like soft on the inside and crunchy on the outside. And then you've got the, the sugar and the pecans. So good. 10 out of 10. Dinner looks so good. These just came out of the oven. And Justin said these technically aren't enchiladas. They call they are... flautas or something. Okay. Which I've never heard of before. Yeah, flautas. So they're different from enchiladas in some yeah. way. Obviously, they don't have the enchilada sauce added to the end. But other than that, it seemed like just like an enchilada. Ugh, that looks so yeah, good. I can't wait to try them. Good morning. It's the next day. I'm about to make some tea. And I'm going to have my coffee cake for breakfast. We've already eaten like half of it. Um, I had a thought about this coffee cake because after I made it, I was telling Justin, I'm like, it just doesn't look like the picture, you know? And I'm like, that's so weird that, I mean, I followed the recipe exactly and it's amazing, like honestly, 10 out of 10. Um, but it just doesn't look like the picture. And then I just had this realization I was supposed to make it in a bunt pan, so this is supposed to be the bottom. Like what, what you guys are seeing on top, like if we flipped it, and then took it out of the pan, then um, it would probably look like how it's supposed to. And also the fact that like all of the pecans and the brown sugar and stuff kind of sunk to the bottom makes you realize that too. So I bet if we like took a piece out and flipped it over, it would look a little bit more like a traditional coffee cake. So of course it's not like shaped like a bunk pan would be, but this is what a little bit more uh, what it should look like. See how all the like pecans and the brown sugar and stuff kind of gathered on top. Um, anyway, maybe I'll get a bump pan and try this again. So I got sourdough in this ring. This is my promise ring that Justin gave me when we were like, well, I was like 17, I think. Um, but anyway, I got sourdough in there. Oh, let me see if I can show y'all. So I soaked it in baking soda and vinegar all night, and so now I'm about to take this toothbrush and try to see if I can get it out. outside. I've got some things that I want to do in the garage. We're not going to get to everything in the garage today because that would be a, an entire video in itself. And also we're going to do things in bite-sized pieces just to make it a little bit easier. But I'm in the spring cleaning mode today and let me show you guys what we're working on. So we are just going to do this side of the garage which is where I have a lot of sentimental things. We've got home decor. I have pictures over here. A lot of this stuff didn't get unloaded when we moved into the house. And so like, for instance, uh, this is my memory box. This needs to be in my closet. And then we also have like, well, I think, well, I was going to say this might be empty, but it's not. This is all Ross's pictures. Um, I try to I have different boxes for each of the kids so when they grow up and they want their own pictures um, they can just take their box and then I have a box that says family on it so that's the one that I'll be keeping so whenever I get pictures printed out I either print them out in like doubles or triple um, that way the kids get one and then I get one to keep. I mean it's a bunch of random stuff and some of, a lot of this stuff is still gonna stay out here, but some stuff is gonna come 
inside. If you've been following along since we were in our last house, you know that when it comes to home decor, I don't really like to have it in boxes on the shelves because I have a harder time shopping my own home when it's in boxes. I really like for it all to be out. That way I'm reminded of what I have. You only make you feel like you could never leave. Do the same, we can't go back. This is all we need. Follow me to make believe and make your dreams come true. This night means forever and so does me and you. We say we love, we say we love. This is exactly what I was talking about. I forgot I even had this and I could have this out for Easter, like in the kitchen somewhere. to the madness I promise so let's do some close-ups I feel like a little bit of it's kind of obvious like Halloween stuff here and then Christmas stuff here that's all of our ornaments and just a few small decorations and stuff and then the last two are just everyday home decor that can be used all throughout the year this is our like tree skirt or tree basket and then this is like wall decor and then we've got a lamp up here this is like pool toys and beach toys and then that's like a float um i'm out of breath y'all <laughs> and then this is like justin's stuff i think it's all just like car stuff and then the umbrella uh thing but i think it looks really good this is something i've been wanting to do for a long time it feels really good to finally get at it now we got to get justin over here on his stuff he said he's not going to do this today but some point during the spring while we're doing our spring cleaning this is going to be done I'm still on a roll though, like I'm not ready to stop. So I'm gonna go ahead and get at this, which is like a bunch of cleaning supplies. Fall in love and tear it down as soon as we wake up. Promise you the world tonight, I show you what I've got. Your body speaks my language and you read me like a book. This night means forever and so does me and you. better look at my nails though Let's see if I can get it to focus I touched up the paint on my nails yesterday like did another red coat and put some clear polish on there trying to maintain them there goes that the other hand doesn't look too great either it's not as bad as that one but we've got chips everywhere this looks so much better this is another thing I've been wanting to do for a long time so I've got all the tools like cleaning tools and 
brooms and mops and vacuums over there. Then over here I've got cleaning products and then cleaning rags. And then my mop bucket is also back there. That's all cleaned off. It looks so much better.